the constitution of india preamble we the people of india having solemnly resolved to constitute india into a sovereign socialist secular democratic republic and to secure to all its citizens justice social economic and political liberty of thought expression belief faith and worship equality of status and of opportunity and to promote among them all fraternity assuring the dignity of the individual and the unity and integrity of the nation in our constituent assembly this 26th day of november 1949 do hereby adopt enact and give to ourselves this constitution hello my dear children welcome back to virtual class hope all of you done your exams well see that you completed all the incomplete works and watch the videos which you haven't seen hope you would do this work okay my dear children let's move to our next topic square factors next topic is square factors how do we write 30 as a product of prime numbers yes 30 so this divisible by 2 how many times yes 15 times this 15 divisible by 3 1 plus 5 is 6 so sum of the two numbers 6 6 is the multiples of 3 so this number divisible by 3 okay so 3 how many times yes 5 times so here 2 into 3 into 5 2 3 5 are the prime factors next one 900 How do we factorize nine hundred? Yes, nine hundred. This is even number, so divisible by two. So four fifty. Again, this number divisible by two. Here two times. Here two times. Here five times. This number divisible by three. Seven times, seventy-five times. Next again, three times, twenty-five times. Twenty-five divisible by five, five times. Okay. Two into two into three into three into five into five. So here. Nine hundred thirty square. Thirty square is nine hundred. So here, here two two times three two times five also two times. So two square into three square into five square. So equal to two into three into five whole square. Okay. Next one, your textbook questions. Can you write each numbers below and its square as a product of prime powers? So first one, thirty-five. Thirty-five. This number divisible by five, seven times. So here, five into seven. Okay. What is thirty-five square? Thirty-five into Thirty-five. So, five into seven into five into seven. So here five two times seven also two times. So five square into seven square. Is equal to five into seven whole square. Okay. Next one is forty-five. Forty-five divisible by five is yes, nine times. Nine divisible by 
3, 3 times. Okay. 5 into 3 into 3. So, here 5 1 times. So, 5 into 3 2 times. So, 3 square. Okay. So, what is 45 square? Yes. 5 into 3 square whole square. Okay. So, here 5 square 5 into 5 3 square 3 square whole square. Okay. So, 5 square 3 raised to 3 square 2 times. So, 3 raised to 2 2 is 4. 3 raised to 4. Okay. Next one. 49. So, 49. This number divisible by 7. So, 7 times. So, here 7 into 7. What is 49 square? 7 square whole square. Okay, it's equal to 7, 2, 2 is 4. So, 7 raised to 4. Next topic is reverse computation. We usually calculate the square of 5, it's equal to 25. Square root of 25. This is the symbol of square root equal to 5. Okay. Square of 5 is 25. In reverse, we can write the statement, the square root of 25 is 5. In shorthand form, square root of 25 is equal to 5. The number which is the multiplied twice to get a product. That number is the square root of the product. This is the symbol of square root. For example, 2 square is equal to 4. Square root of 4 is equal to 2. Next one, 3 square is equal to 9. Square root of 9 is equal to 3. Next one, 4 square is equal to 16. Square root of 16 is equal to 4. Now understood? Here, for two numbers x and y, if x square is equal to 1, then square root of y is equal to x. Okay. Next one, find out the square root of these numbers. So here, square root of 100. Square root of 10 into 10. 10 into 10? Yes, 100. So, square root of 100 is equal to 10. Okay. Next one, square root of 1 by 4 is equal to square root of 1 by 2 into 1 by 2. So, 1 into 1, 1. 2 into 2, so, square root of 1 by 4 is equal to 1 by 2. Okay. Next one. Square root of 1 by 4. Square root of 144 is equal to 2 and 2. Okay. Square root of 2 and 2. Here, 1 by 4 4 is equal to 1.2 into 1.2 square root of 1.2 into 1.2 into Okay. So here square root of 1.44 is equal to 1.2. Okay. Next one. Let's wind up today's session. If you have any doubt, contact me. Thank you.